Meghan Markle is unlikely to give birth in an NHS hospital for a number of reasons, including wishing to minimize disruption to the general public, according to a leading royal expert. Meghan, who announced her pregnancy in October, is expected to give birth this spring. On Monday the Duchess attended the Commonwealth Day service in Westminster Abbey. It is expected to be her last public engagement before the royal birth. Russell Myers, royal editor at The Mirror, explained why Meghan will probably give birth in a private facility. He asserted, a lot of this is mainly down to planning. Naturally there's a great deal of media interest and with that the logistics involved mean there's a real need for using a tried and trusted method of a private ward or specific hospital that is used to dealing with these sort of high-profile births. What is needed is a controlled environment, both inside and outside the hospital for all involved. A number of potential venues for the birth have been suggested. Meghan and Harry could opt for the private Lindo wing, attached to St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington. All three of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's children were born at the facility. Princess Diana also used the Lindo wing when she gave birth to Princes William and Harry. Mr. Myers said, if Meghan and Harry do choose to give birth at the Lindo wing the logistics and processes involved are so much easier as there is a default plan. Of course there will be some people suggesting it would send a real message for Meghan to have her baby at an NHS hospital but I honestly think it would cause more upheaval to other members of the public if she did. It has also been reported Meghan is considering a home birth. Mr. Myers commented, it's still a possibility as it's understood that Meghan has been researching hypnobirthing techniques and could opt for the comfort of being at home rather than having an on-the-steps moment outside the Lindo wing like the Duchess of Cambridge has done with all three of her children.